One of the things that we're asked a lot as the Mac OS is growing and, and we're seeing a lot more Mac uh, machines, whether it's a Mac Air or the MacBook Pro in the work environment, is how to use Windows products and how to make them integrate seamlessly with the Mac operating system. So I'm going to demonstrate how this is possible today. You can see my desktop here and you can see that I'm running the Mac operating system. There's my Finder. I can open up iTunes, even pop up in my Google Chrome browser and jump out to the Google website. What I want to be able to now demonstrate is how I can actually run a Windows product on top of the Mac. So what I'm doing here is I'm leveraging some virtualization technologies and I'm using a product called Parallels. It's a product you can go to their website, it's 80 bucks, you can download it actually install and have a Windows operating system running on top of your Mac. What this allows you to do in the workplace is to leverage applications that were written only for the Microsoft platform but still be able to interact and work on top of your Mac. So this is the product that I use all the time. This is the Microsoft Visual Studio development environment. So you can see here I'm actually running a Microsoft product on top of my Mac desktop and you can see the window style control button the window style minimize maximize and close buttons those all function so I can minimize this out of the way now I'm going to bring up Microsoft Outlook so you can see I'm actually running uh, the Windows version of Microsoft Outlook this is uh, different than the Office 2011 Mac version of Outlook and I can go ahead and start a new email and I can go ahead and send this off to myself and if I want to attach a file to this email and it's on my Mac desktop I can just simply drag and drop it just like I would if I was working entirely in a Mac environment or entirely within a Windows environment so I could then send this off to myself if I wanted to I'm going to go ahead and just cancel that so one of the products that I want to demonstrate the interaction with is our Pivotal product. So you can see here's the Pivotal client and I have all the same features I would if I was running this on top of the um, Windows operating system, a very quick interface I can get around, drill around, open up uh, contact records. But one of the most powerful features of Pivotal and working with Microsoft Outlook is the ability to link activities in Outlook with the Pivotal client. So I'm going to go back into my email, and here's an email that I received. It says, please provide more information, and I want to link this to a contact inside of Pivotal. So I'm going to open up my email, and I'm going to click the link button. This is inside the Pivotal CRM portion of the ribbon. And I'm going to go ahead and do a link and I'm going to link this to my contract William Henry. I'm going to go ahead and close this email and yes I want to save those changes. You can see it's saving my changes to CRM and let's jump over into my Pivotal client and we will open up William Henry. So here's my contact, William Henry. Down in my interaction section, I can see there's my email. Please provide more information, which was the subject. And there is a preview of the email over here on the right. So you can see even on the Mac platform, I'm able to very easily link and utilize Microsoft Outlook with the Pivotal client. Furthermore, if I actually want to take a document, I want to link that document, but that document is sitting on my Mac file system, I can still interact with that without a problem. So I'm going to click on the attach document link and this document is going to be of type documentation. I'm going to link it to the CRM culture company and the Henry William contact. I'm prompted with a open dialog and the Windows open dialog can see my Mac operating system and my Mac file system just like it could anything else. So I can click on the home button. There's all my different document folders and uh, movie folders. But I'm going to go ahead and open up my desktop folder. 
and there's that same attachment that I'd used earlier, I'm going to go ahead and select that Google Map Query Info. Now the screen's refreshed and I can actually see my document count now has gone to 1. I select it, there's my Google Map Query Info. If I want to view that document again, I can simply double click on it and it will go ahead and open up that document in the default application. And you can see there is my document inside of a text editor that I have in the Windows operating system. So this is a demonstration of how I can utilize the Microsoft Outlook for Windows product as well as the Pivotal client for the Windows platform on top of my Mac and how I can very easily interact with the Mac operating system allowing me to still utilize the Mac and Windows technologies seamlessly together.